James Wand is James the Wand Guy, an amazing wine to have. This is Pacific Rim. It's from Spring Creek Vineyard, Yakima Valley. It's Gruna Fat Leader. Stay tuned for this review. Really pleasantly surprised to taste through the Pacific Rim Single Vineyard Series wines and to discover Grunner Fetlina. Now I looked online and I just looked for any information on Grunner Fetlina from Washington State because I looked at my own database to see had I tasted one before and the answer is no. And uh, that matches exactly with what I was thinking. And uh, tasting through this wine I thought, you know what, I'd love to see more of this. So I think this is a really great way of understanding. Uh, Gruna Fetlina as it relates to region and very expressive, beautiful, and uh, be fun to taste this wine in terms of comparing to other regions uh, of Gruna Fetlina around the world. Uh, this is a really beautiful label. I really am enjoying this. I think this is a really cool Art Deco label. So this producer I've been tasting from a good number of years and uh, so it's really nice to taste this uh, single vineyard series selection. Again, Pacific uh, Rim, Spring Creek Vineyard, Yakima Valley. Gruna Fetlina, 12.9% ABV, so superbly low in alcohol content. It really has that uh, same uh, ABV uh, characteristic, alcohol by volume characteristic. Back label is showing me a sweetness scale, which I'm really appreciating. It's the IRS scale, so this is showing that this is really a bone dry wine. But uh, when I say bone dry, it's still expressive. You can have uh, almost no sugar and still have an expressive wine. The fruit is still there. It just has uh, less and less sugar. So it's a great way to see what all these wines are about. So I think this is a uh, really great uh, example of serving this wine with a variety of dishes. But for me, tasting this wine, I thought, you know, I'm going to enjoy this on its own. And I just love tasting this wine on its own. It is really superbly elegant, beautiful, and uh, the leanness is, is there, definitely. But uh, this mineral signature is, uh, you know, absolutely present. So in this meeting, it's of uh, orange grove, lemon zest, white flowers, hint of almond, and moist stones. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. Notes on this wine include heirloom apple, white fig, lemon peel, passion fruit, and white floral tones. So this wine is a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale. Think of that as 93 points out of 100 points. I have more wines to taste from Pacific Rim. I'll post all those videos right here. I think this is a really great series from Pacific Rim. I'm really excited to taste these wines and I look forward to tasting to new vintages and other things that they're working on as well. So thank you again for watching today. I appreciate your support. Let's have a conversation. You can leave uh, questions and comments down below. I'll put more information on the producer down below. You can also extend that out to the social medias that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Do me a favor, give a like to this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. So I have many more great wines to be tasting and to be reviewing. So thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.